Welcome to another installment of the Burning Empowerment of Your Soul blog series. Today, we delve into a profound and transformative theme. Response and responsibility go hand in hand. This topic is inspired by the wisdom and insight of some of the most influential motivational speakers of all time, including Eric Thomas, Les Brown, Sarge, Oprah Winfrey, Barack Obama, Michelle Obama, and even T.D. Jakes. The, the words response and responsibility share a common origin, both deriving from the Latin word respondor, which means to answer or to promise. The ethicology link underscores a fundamental truth Our response to life's challenges are deeply led, led in our sense of responsibility. To respond effectively to any situation, we must embrace our responsibilities with clarity and commitment. Response, the meaning, a reaction to something that has been said or done. It implies an answer or reaction to the stimulation or question, highlighting our immediate engagement with the world around us. The responsibility of something or being accountable for someone, it goes beyond mere reaction to encompass accountability and proactive management of our duties and our actions. To understand how response and responsibility intertwine, let's, let's explore the insights of our motivational luminates. Eric Thomas. Eric Thomas, known for his electrifying speeches, emphasizes the importance of showing up and committing to your goals. He often says, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. This quote encapsulates the essence of responsibility, being fully committed to your goals and showing up, prepared to face any of the challenges. Les Brown says, listen in his inspiration to millions with his message of resilience, he reminds us, if you start running, you will continue to run your whole life. This statement challenges us to take responsibilities of our lives instead of playing the victim. If we constantly see ourselves as victims, we will always be victimized. Take responsibility means to be account uh, acknowledging our power to change our circumstances. Sarge, another Western motivational speaker with his no-nonsense approach drives home the importance of action and pre prepar preparation. He says, if you're not going to fight this battle, then just lie down and die now. This stark perspective urges us to take responsibility for our battles, whether in personal or professional arsenals. We must be ready to engage fully in the fight for our dreams. Oprah Winfrey, a beacon of empowerment, highlights the importance of preparation. She believes that luck is preparation meeting opportunity. This wisdom reflects the essence of responsibility, preparing ourselves for the opportunity that comes our way and responding to them with a readiness and confidence. Barack Obama, the former president of the United States, often speaks about interconnections of our responsibilities. He states, we are, we are the change that we seek. This quote underscores the idea that our responses to societal changes are deeply linked to our collective responsibility. We must work towards listening to our together. We must work together, respecting and supporting each other in the fight for progress or any kind of change. Michelle Obama, his wife even says, it, it emphasizes the importance of ownership in her book, Becoming. 
Trey writes, your story is what you have, what you will always have. It is something that you own. This perspective encourages us to take responsibility for our own narratives. Understanding that listen, we, ha we have to respond to life's events, shapes our personal growth and legacy. And even T.D. Jake says, from the word, listen, the spiritual foundation, a powerful voice in the realm of spiritual motivation teaches us that faith and responsibility are completely intertwined. He asserts God's will, God will fight your battle, but he expects you to show up for the fight, prepare for the battle. This highlights the balance between the divine support and the personal responsibility that we have. We must do our part, showing up prepared and ready to engage in this battle that we must face. The keys to the responsibility and the response. Number one, running away. If you start running from your problems, you will continue to run away your whole entire life. Embrace responsibility to break the cycle. Number two, that victim mentality. Constantly playing the victim leads to a perpetual victimization with a mindset. Take control of your narrative and your responses. Number three, commit to the battle. If you're not willing to fight for your goals, you must, you might as well surrender now. True responsibility involves commitment to engage fully. Number four, divine and personal responsibility. God supports those who show up prepared. Like the biblical warriors who tapped, who tapped water with their faces, only the committed and prepared are fit for the battle. Number five, Prepare for the fight. Showing up for the battle means being ready to fight, even to the death. Symbolizing total commitment and readiness to face the challenge head on. Number six, respect your fellow fighters. Recognize and respect that others are in this trenches with you. Mutual respect strengthens collective responsibility. Ownership. Come on, we need to take ownership. Stop blaming others for your circumstances. Take ownership of your life and your actions. Uh, we need a mindset, a purposeful action. Number eight, mere movement without a plan is futile. Responsibility involves strategic action aligned with a well thought out plan. Number nine, vision versus imagination. Come on now. Listen, we're not living in an imaginary world. Being a visionary requires action and practical planning, not just living in an imaginary world. Align your vision with logical and research actions and the divine ability that God has given you from the depths of your soul. Number 10, fulfilling your potential. Being all that you can be involves understanding and embracing your full potential. As called by God and taking responsible actions to achieve it. So in conclusion, yes, in conclusion, the relationship between response and responsibility is a pivotal in shaping your own lives and the others that are around you. By embracing our responsibilities, we enhance our ability to respond effectively to life's challenges. This interplay is not just about answering the call, but doing so with preparation, commitment, and accountability. So as we draw inspiration from Eric Thomas, Les Brown, Charge, Oprah Winfrey, Barack Obama, Michelle Obama, and T.D. Chase, Let's commit to a life of response, responsible action, and purposeful response. Remember how we show up makes all the difference. So join us next week at 12 p.m. for more inspiring stories from other motivational speakers. 
about their dedication and resilience of success in success subscribe to our YouTube channel at burning empowerment of your soul for regular doses of motivational and empowerment connect with us on Facebook email us what's the name at empower your soul 2023 at gmail.com let's continue this journey of burning empowerment of your soul with deep inspiration together remember your response to life's challenges and your commitment to your responsibilities defines your path to greatness so i want you to take care of my friends take care of my family see you next week monday at 12 god bless